Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do my January um, beauty favorites. I will be doing a giveaway, so just make sure to stay all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I feel like in the month of January, I've been focusing on my skincare and my skin a lot more. So let's get started. First of all, let's go with toner. This is a Clinique... Um, Clinique Clarifying Lotion. It's a toner. Um, this is a, what you apply right after you wash your face. And I kid you guys not, this is so good. Like I love how it makes my skin feel so good. Like I apply a little bit to a cotton pad and I just apply it to the face, and it it kind of tingles and makes like it like working. I like that tinglingness just because I like how it works. I have been noticing. That if I get like breakouts with just using this, it helps minimize them a lot more. For um, um, a serum, I use this, the Ordinary um, Retinoid. You apply it at night and it helps so much with wrinkles and dullness. My skin looks so much better in the morning. This is a night only. You cannot use this in the morning. But I like, ever since I tried it, I like fell in love with it. It just helps, even with my pores, it helps it minimize so much. The other two that I've been using from The Ordinary is this one. It's Hyaluronic um, Acid. And this has changed my skin so much because it hydrates the skin without making it too oily like... I don't know how, but this works so good. I apply it right after the serum at night, and then in the morning I apply it like right after the toner. So the other one has been Matrixone, and this also helps um, with the fine lines and wrinkles. Like I feel like this has helped prevent the fine lines. I mean, I I I want to start prevent like fine lines before they actually happen like I mean I don't actually have a lot of fine lines but hopefully you know it helps it prevent a lot faster and I have the Sephora Micellar Cleansing Milk this is um, to moisturize and brighten the skin and I feel like this I apply this one at night and I feel like it has brightened my skin a lot more like it looks like bright and awake like I really really love how this has been working on my skin and I've been using the Sephora my cleanser um, cleansing water and this one is revitalizing and toning so I use this in the morning as well you guys the one moisturizer I can never leave behind ever will, will be the belief true cream aqua bomb this being aqua um, water moisturizer instead of the, the other kind I love so much better because my face does not feel oily afterwards my face feels like it absorbs it a lot better and I completely love love how it makes my face look like I love how fresh and awake it feels on days when I want glowing skin I go with the glam glow glow starter and this you guys makes your skin look like it's glowing like from with like from within like as soon as you apply it it has like a tint to it like I feel like this one doesn't make me that oily it just gives me such a nice radiant glow to the skin for a facial spray I've been loving the Mario Badesco the facial serum with aloe herbs and rose water this makes my skin nice and hydrated like it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it keeps my face fresh all day which I really really liked concealer I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer it's like a tart shaped tape concealer but since I kind of stopped using tart I'm in, um, and I switched up to the Urban Decay it's, I feel like it's kind of like the same formula as a tart shaped tape but I like this one a lot better I don't know like I feel like it's holds up even a little longer and I really really like how full coverage it is like full coverage it doesn't crease as much and it feels really really nice on the skin I've been using the Kat Von D Locket powder foundation I use this to set the rest of my face 
and I love how it makes my skin like so mad but it's not like heavy powder it's not it doesn't feel too heavy on the face I only have two eyeshadows and one of them is the Saharan by Juvia's Place and this you guys has such pretty colors like I just really love the formula and how pigmented they are and how nice and silky they feel. I really, really like this palette. You could create a whole bunch of looks with these simple colors. I like the shimmers. I love the mattes. I really have been grabbing this one palette a lot more lately. So I picked up the Morphe 25D palette. And this palette is all matte and it's so pretty and it's like warm tone heaven. Like this palette contains a lot of the like mustardy, like pukey colors that like you wouldn't be attracted to. But it's so pretty. Like I like how they're so different. It's like such a different palette compared to other uh, most of their other palettes. I really really like how this concept was all matte. And it has really, really nice colors. I've been using the Morphe 9N Blush Palette. And I kid you guys not, I, I had it and I had to go repurchase it. Because I just love, love the colors in them. I like how you can mix any of these and get like such a nice, um, like your own perfect neutral blush. And you could really use this on everyday like blush. Like you could have you you have different kinds of blushes. You have your mauves, your really pinky colors, and it's so nice. I really feel like this could be used for any occasion. I've like re fallen in love with one of my old highlighters, and this is a Jeffree Star highlighter in King Tut. And this, you guys, is so pretty. It's such a nice highlight. Like. I like how this highlighter is so pigmented and it's so pretty and it's really really nice on my skin tone. I like how creamy it is. I like how big it is. That's what she said, right? It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Can you guys see the highlight? For lips, I only have two. I've been using the Maybelline Super State Matte Ink. This is in the shade 75. It's what I have on my lips right now. And I like how it's such lightweight. Like it doesn't feel too heavy on the lip. And it's really, really matte. Like, And I like how comfortable they are. Like, And how affordable they are. I love these colors. Their browns are so pretty. I feel like they've... This formula is really, really good. Like... And for it being Maybelline, I feel like everyone should check them out. also have a dose of colors, um, new liquid lipstick and Old Flame. But this color is so pretty. Like, can it be spring so I could be wearing nothing but this all day? With like a full, like a, like a makeup like this. With just this one color. It's so pretty. It's such a nice, like, peachy, orangey, like, nude. For setting sprays, I've been using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I've been loving how this has been making my makeup set. Like, it makes it, like, blend all together. Like, it makes my skin look healthy. It doesn't make me too oily and it doesn't keep me matte. Which I like because I've been liking that more radiant glow. And lastly, to wipe off all my makeup, I've been using the NYX Cleansing Balm. This, you guys, I've been recently into balms, like, to take off my makeup. But this, you guys, is so good. I love how simple it takes off my makeup. Like, I just apply it, rub it in, and wipe it off with a makeup wipe. And it removes all my makeup. Like, it's really, really nice. Like, and it's so affordable. It's NYX, like, this kind of completes my beauty favorite of January. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you've been loving in the month of January and what you would want me to try because I would love to try something new for my giveaway. I will. I have decided to be doing a giveaway every single month of this year. So there will be 12, 12 giveaways in total. And the rules are simple. For this video, okay, for this giveaway, you have to make sure you subscribe to my channel. 
have to like th this video. You follow me on Instagram. You repost the picture. Make sure your profile is not blocked. You have to tag me in the in the photo. Don't comment or like put me in the description. Just tag me as a person because it's a lot difficult to like look you up later on. Please, please make sure you follow all the instructions. That kind of completes this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you.